Now to the other big story we're following tonight, the resignation of the director of the Secret Service. Julia Pearson stepped down this afternoon after a series of blunders by the agency. The most recent, a man jumping the fence at the White House and making it well inside the mansion before being tackled by agents there. Ross Plater is live outside the White House tonight with what's next for the Secret Service. Ross. Leon, we know that a former special agent handpicked by the president is coming out of retirement to run things for now. A group of experts will recommend a new director, and the buzz tonight is that for the first time in 80 years, it could be an outsider. It was an astounding revelation. The White House had no idea the Secret Service had let a man with a criminal past and a gun on an elevator just inches from the president. The White House uh, first learned uh, of that incident uh, yesterday afternoon, shortly before it was reported by, uh, before it was publicly reported by a news organization. It may have been the last straw. On Tuesday, Your the agency's director, Julia Pearson, was agent. hammered at a hearing on the Hill over a major security breach that let fence jumper Omar Gonzalez, armed with a knife, make his way deep into the White House. This is unacceptable, and I take full responsibility. By Wednesday afternoon, Pearson offered her resignation, and the president accepted. Over the last several days, we've seen recent and accumulating reports uh, raising questions about the performance of the agency, uh, and the president concluded that new leadership of that agency was required. President Obama recommended former agent Joe Clancy take the reins temporarily. Until 2011, Clancy had headed up the Presidential Protective Division. An independent panel will investigate the recent breaches and recommend a new director, perhaps somebody from the outside. Josh Gerstein, senior White House reporter for Politico, says whoever comes in has to change the culture of the agency. They have to somehow generate a culture inside uh, where it's easier to speak up about problems. Now, that panel of independent experts has not yet been named, but they're supposed to give their recommendations to the president by December 15th. We're live outside the White House. I'm Roz Plater, ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Roz.